as you can see, even from the airplane, Boracay looks very clean and pristine. This was taken in 2013, oh, 2012, that one, 2017. Look at the water, Ew, right? And this is Boracay now. Yep, so clean and clear. You can really enjoy the water. Look at that. Wouldn't want to swim in that. I'll show you videos. Hi, this is Jenny B of Mom Junior. We just got here in Boracay. It's almost 5.30 in the afternoon. We didn't dress up anymore for the beach. We've been wearing the same clothes since yesterday evening when we um, boarded the boat from Cagayan de Oro to Cebu. And then the boat arrived in Cebu Port around 5 a.m. this morning. And from there, we went to Cebu Airport and boarded our plane at around 2 p.m. And by 3 p.m., we were already in Cagban Port. And after everything, we're now here. We rested a bit. We fixed our stuff in our room. And we just went out because we wanted to catch the, the sunset. But I think the sun is still too high. Um, we just noticed that yep, everything looks cleaner than before. They said that the green algae in Boracay before is what makes the sand white. And every summer, it's it's here. It's here in Boracay. But right now, it's summer. It's March. And look, the sea, the sand is very clean. No green stuff. To think this, we are in Station 3, almost close to Angol Beach. And that's where the green stuff are usually but there are no green stuff no algae so it's not what makes from i mean if you base your logic on that it's not what makes the white sands of Boracay. it's not what makes the sand white here in Boracay. so the green stuff the algae are probably from the dirt the sewage i don't know i'm not an expert i'm not a scientist but it's just based Lodge because I've been going here since 2004 and every summer there's always green algae and this is the first summer 2019 after Boracay has been renovated by our president Tigong, President Duterte and now Boracay is cleaner, no green algae. Anyway, in lang handle Later, we're just so happy we're here. See ya. Hello and we are finally enjoying the waters of Boracay. We're here in station 2. Because we wanted to go to Willis Rock a bit later. Willis Rock is over there. Can you see it? Anyway, in the meantime, stay here. Are you enjoying, baby? Enjoying? And enjoy. Later. Above Willy and from what I noticed, look, there are no more green stuff. <laughs> there are no more algae like the previous years were here. This is, this has always been a place that's full of green algae, but right now, wala. No, talagang kudos to the president of the for cleaning up Boracay. Kaya naman pala. Hopefully, we'll go and see the moon, which is the moon. I'll just show it to you. Very good, baby. Wow. 
you already know how to float. Yeah. Oh, come here, come here. Go for it. Show mommy. Mommy! Show mommy, you can go deep. He can go deep already? Wait lang. Oh, go to Dada, baby. Can you swim to Dada? Oh. You're going to swim towards me? Okay, use your floaters properly. Yeah. Okay, very good. Are you enjoying? Having fun? <laughs> oh, it's too deep, baby. Help! It's so deep. Help! Help! It's not too deep. It's not too deep? Is it shallow? Oh, help shallow, me, help. shallow. Oh, it's too deep. Help. <laughs> wow, you already know how to lie down. Can you teach mommy how to do that? Okay, what does mommy need to do? How did you do that, baby? Sleep in the water. Nice. Okay, show mommy how to sleep in the water. Wow. Are you lying down again, again? Like that. Wow. You're not scared anymore. Wow, brave baby does. Very good. Thank you. However, at the end of station one, the water still have green algae because of the non-existence of proper sewage treatment facility of the close establishments there. There is ano naman, this um, do's and don'ts you can see all over Boracay. Um, you'll also be guided with the proper fare for the tricycle, the boat, the terminal fee, the environmental fee. Um, this is Kedban Port. They have this nice backdrop of the of Brakai. And there's this oyster ferry already operating. It's more convenient, though it's a bit a bit expensive, 75 pesos per person as compared to 25 pesos. Yes, you can still wear skimpy bikini attires, as you can see from the picture. And there is still nightlife in Boracay. The establishments, the restaurants, the bars. Here. Open up already, and there will be live music or music playing in the background. As long as the activities are done inside the establishment, like drinking, smoking proper, smoking areas, um, parking, as long as it's done inside the establishment, it's okay. So what else is new in Barakai? Well, this is the first time that I've seen this yellow water taxi, which is for chartered boat rides in Barakai. This is also the first time I've seen this rubberized boardwalk, which I thought was for regular tourists like us. Apparently, I was stepping on it and taking videos, and there's this policeman who whistled at us because apparently what we were doing was prohibited. It's for cruise ship tourists who are docking onto the platform and then going into the island. So not for us, but just for cruise ship tourists. This is a first in Boracay. It's sort of like a rubber boardwalk. I think this is for um, people who would like to try the water sports activity. So this is where they go. And then uh, there, at the end of this boardwalk, sort of, they will ride, I don't know, a banana boat, a jet ski, or whatever water sport activity they will have. It's just a few reasons we haven't talked to anyone yet. We just wanted to walk here. So nice. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Yay, we're gonna walk over there. 
Okay, no entry. Na, na, anong tawag doon? Nasipulan ako ng mga pulis sa Boracay. Andun sila. There. Kita nyo ba? Biglang may nagserbata. Anong tawag doon? Whistle? Someone whistled because I was about to walk towards the middle. Bawal pala. I don't know why. Maybe Ayan, no, no entry. Saan ba nakalagay no entry? Kasi naman. Ayan. No entry naman pala. Ayan no, no entry. Jen, you're not reading. No, nakasalamin ka kasi. Pataas ka ng grado ng salamin mo. No entry. Kaya hanggang dito lang tayo. Okay. Sige po kuya. Ito, aalis na. Okay, here's an update. According to Kuya, oh Kuya, para saan ulit yan? <laughs> sa mga cruise ships na dumadating sa Boracay, like mga star cruises, Virgo, mga ganon. Yung pala yun, there are like big ships going here from different countries. Diyan sila nagda-dock. So the foreign visitors can walk from there to their ship, from their ship, going here to the island. Ayun! Okay, okay. Thank you, Kuya. So what else is new in Boracay? Well, we've noticed that they already have a mall, which is City Mall, Boracay. It has cafes, fast food joints, other shops, including cinemas. We're just not sure how many cinemas in all. At that time, Captain Marvel was showing. So what else? Um, Balabag Wetland Park will be opening soon. Hopefully when we come back, it'll already be open. And it looks nice. It's, it's a nice park. Again, congratulations to President Digong for all these wonderful improvements on the island. Hopefully it'll be sustainable for everyone, especially for the residents. And it'll continue for years and years to come. Now for more details, just head to my blog at momtrenor.com. You'll find everything you need to know there about what's new in Boracay, including an updated and complete list of the accredited accommodations on the island. Now, if you're on a budget and you would like to like, make the most of your money, just like what we did, yeah, do read that blog post for all the information that you will need. I hope you like this latest vlog of mine and if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Again, this is Genevieve of momtrenor.com. Thanks. Bye.